You know, I may like acting cynical and all on camera, but the B660 motherboards have actually surprised me when it comes to how many features a budget motherboard can have. And today's motherboard, the B660 Tomahawk from MSI, is no exception. And even though it costs the same as the ASUS Prime B660 Plus, which I covered yesterday, this MSI motherboard has so many features, it will make your head spin. Starting off with PC expansion, where things are looking fairly decent. You have two 16x slots, with one of them being a PC Gen 4, and also one 1x slot. Plus you get three M.2 slots, all of which operate at PC Gen 4 speeds. That's pretty amazing, right? Well, here's the thing. That's kind of a lie. MSI have done some uh, creative marketing here, you see, because he has two of the M.2 slots that do operate at PC Gen 4x4. However, one of them only has two lanes running at PC Gen 4 speeds. So you're literally getting half the bandwidth you'd expect from a normal PC Gen 4 M.2 slot. And because Gen 4 is double the speed of Gen 3, two Gen 4 lanes is the same bandwidth as four Gen 3 lanes. So it's been basically a standard for like the past five years. But anyway, apart from that trickery that MSI is doing there, Expansion-wise, you have pretty much everything you could ever want in a more budget PC. And even though one of them basically operates at Gen 3 speeds, three M.2 slots will still be plenty for most people. And when you need even more storage, you have six SATA connectors, which is notable seeing how the B660 chipset normally supports only four. But with the help of an additional ASM 1061 SATA controller, you get two extra SATA ports. So that's all well and good. And moving up to CPU power, things are looking fairly decent as well. Especially seeing how we have two 8-pin connectors. Yeah, two 8-pins on a budget sub-200 motherboard. That is pretty insane. Now sadly, the VRM situation doesn't fully match that, seeing how you get only 12 phases, plus two additional ones for memory controllers and integrated graphics, but still that's pretty decent, and combined with two 8-pin connectors, you could even drive an i7 on this. And then moving on to the rear I.O., Things are also looking really good for the Tomahawk here. The fact that it has 8 USB Type-A ports is great, with only 4 of them being USB 2.0 speeds, plus add to that a USB Type-C, 2.5 gig Ethernet, both HDMI and DisplayPort for integrated graphics, which a lot more people are running nowadays for obvious reasons, and add to that Wi-Fi 6 as standard, i.e. you'd have to pay more for a Wi-Fi variant of this motherboard, and also all six audio jacks, which for some reason has been becoming more of a commodity this generation. But thankfully it looks like after Z690, motherboard manufacturers have realized the mistakes and are finally giving us the full set of six audio jacks, one of them being optical spitif. So that is great. So here you have a motherboard that has much all the PC expansion you could ever need, six set of connectors, which is kind of rare on B660 boards, a internal USB 3.2 Gen 2 connector, which again, you don't see too often on B660, at that 12 phases of power and two 8 pins and a lot of rear I.O. And you have a really spectacular board for just $190. And it definitely beats out the B660 Plus from ASUS, which I covered, which costs the same. And even though feature-wise the B660 Aeros Master still wins, this board, however, doesn't break the $200 barrier. And for a lot of people, that could be enough of a reason to buy this, if you don't want to spend more than $200 on a motherboard. But if you do want to spend those $30 more dollars or so, the B660 Aeros Master will still be an excellent choice. But if you want to buy this board, I'm going to have a link to it up in the iCards and down in the video description below. But hey, if you like this video and you found it helpful, then the best way to ensure that I make more helpful videos in the future is to support my channel on Patreon. And even just one single dollar month truly goes a long way, well, you get some awesome perks. And I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, Comic Age Clothing, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much, which truly goes a long way. Down there, you're also going to find our Discord server if you want to talk to me, or as I just saw, whatever else really, plus also our merch store and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I'll make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.